Today's Ask Me Anything goes out to Julie. By the way, this video is brought to you by our friends at Visionary Keto Food for Dogs, which is the food I feed my dogs, and they love it. Question says, how do you break up a dog fight? My husband and dog were attacked at the dog park this weekend. I never go to dog parks. So that's the first step. Um, we had our dog by the collar, and he was sitting on the bench as another dog entered, and the dog went straight from the gate to them. I'm assuming you're saying your husband and the dog. Um, and latched onto our dog's ear and wouldn't let go. That's why I don't go to dog parks. He had both dogs and was trying to separate them, bitten by both dogs and dragged to the ground. No one stepped in to help him. Those people were smart. I, it sounds funny, but I'm going to tell you why in a minute. No one stepped in to help him, not even the owner of the other dog. What do you do when you are alone? No one is helping. First of all, never, never, never go to dog parks. There's nothing good that's going to happen at a dog park, and it's not a matter of if your dog's going to get bit at a dog park, it's when. Now, that being said, dogs are going to get attacked anyway in the street or in another situation, and I'm going to address it based on that. But if you go to a dog park and there's a dog fight, you've kind of put yourself in a really, really bad situation on your own volition. Um, first of all, you don't want to restrain your dog so they can't defend themselves. That's what you did there. When your dog is restrained, he's also sending off a signal, which is, I'm in a pinned mode, I can't do anything, which puts the other dog in alert, and it puts your dog in a higher defensive state because he can't defend himself, so he's sending off that energy, like, I got to do something. So. When dogs bite onto somebody, what you want to do is you want to get the biting dog and you want to take away as much air as quickly as possible, which is usually done with a choke or a, a leash around the dog's neck because you don't want to hurt either dog. Punching, kicking, poking eyes, doing all these things can hurt a dog and usually it won't result in that dog letting go of your dog. Removing air relaxes the muscles, which will make the dog let go of, the other, of whatever it has in its, in its mouth. When a dog has something like an ear, pulling the dog away from the ear that it has a hold of will usually result in that ear coming along with it. So you must be very, very, very careful. You should at all costs always have a leash with you, something that you can put around a dog's neck and control because using your hands is usually going to get you bit. Now that being said, if you have a life-threatening kind of situation, a child or, or, or something uh, being attacked and you have to get in there, it is best to try to get your arms around the dog's neck and to choke the dog to get the dog to let go as quickly as possible. All the other things, the nonsense of, you know, that you've seen on the internet usually doesn't work. I can tell you that. I've seen people try it doesn't work. Got a question? Ask me anything. Also, check my link in the description below for a link to keto, uh, Visionary Keto Food for Dogs, which is food I'd feed my dogs. And like I said, they love it. And check my website, robertcabral.com, for all the best online dog training available anywhere.